guys welcome to speech therapy during COVID today I am gonna do just a quick activity to get us thinking about naming as well as giving um, attributes to different items so an attribute is a description usually it's a color or it can be um, you know if something's fluffy or sparkly so it can be a texture it can be something that you see visually um, today we're gonna do colors this is a learning resources uh, flashcards, um, and then I'm also gonna just be doing some first words flashcards. Got these both for a buck at Target and or the dollar store, so pretty simple to find. Um, obviously, they're not mine, didn't make them, but I do use them in speech therapy just to help with um, language, naming uh, activities, especially if a child has difficulty with word finding or naming simple things, because we all have trouble naming things. Even I have trouble finding my words, so it all depends on the child and their abilities. So here we go. I'm going to show these flashcards and I want your child to practice naming them. I'm gonna go faster and faster and I am not gonna talk while we're doing this. So this is practice for you guys, okay? Now, if we're having a hard time coming up with the names of these things, start by describing it. Start by telling me what it's used for. Start by telling your mom or dad what color it is or what you do with it. Show what we do with it. So the juice box. What do we do with this? We we drink out of it. Uh, it's This one's purple. It has a straw. I know that it has a straw. So... It comes in cups too. We don't always have boxes. It doesn't always come in boxes. That. Oh, what do these two things have in common, you guys? They are both what? This one might be difficult. You may not use this every day but we can practice uh, sounding it out too. So N-E-T, sounded that word out. What is that? What's that? We may need those the past few days, haven't we? One of Miss Soa's favorites. Okay, next I'm gonna do is I want you guys to give me the color and then what shape it is. So that is what we're going to do next. What this is doing is just helping us practice giving, um, practicing our naming skills, word finding skills, um, practicing colors, talking about shapes and simple objects. So what color is it and what shape? Color and shape. And I'll model it in just a moment. So color, orange shape triangle. It is an orange triangle. That is the answer we are looking for, mom and dad. It's a trapezoid, that one's a little hard. Even I have a hard time remembering all my shapes. What is that? What shape? Okay, so some of these next cards are going to be objects. So you can either name the color and then the object or the shape that it is. So what color is it? And then what shape or what is it? So it's a white what? What is that? And if you don't know what it is, what shape is it? Oh, 
almost through this deck. Look at us go. What shape? Oh, what color first, then what shape? I know it has more than one color, so you can list both or one. Sometimes when you get more than one, it's harder. What is that? Another way we can practice this too is we can talk about um, what colors make up certain colors. So for example, it's in my hand right here. What colors make green? So we can practice how when we mix yellow and blue, we get green. So that is another way we can practice this with this activity. What colors make what? So what colors make orange? So this is an orange what? What is it? And then what is that? And those are all my cards, actually. You blew through that. So um, use this as a practice activity for your child to practice naming things and naming colors. Talk about what those things are. Uh, you know, replay this video and practice it again. I know I went fast. I went fast for a reason um, because I want this to be a good practice and to get everyone's minds going. So have a great rest of your day and stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you next time.